Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be diving down into the charts taking a look at what is going on with Bitcoin as it continues to pull the market down. As we get into this if you find it useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel then do go ahead and subscribe. Tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. In the description down below you'll find links to our discord server why not come on and join us down there it's completely free you'll find a lot of different kind of chit chatter going on around the crypto space and the community that we have down in discord there's also a link to our patreon service if you're looking for a little bit more from the crypto space about strategies accumulation bear markets bull markets etc and of course we do host two uh, live streams directly with patreon members um every single week so why not check that out if that's your bag right with all that said done and out of the way let's actually jump on down into the charts take a look at what's going on with bitcoin and uh, what might actually happen next here Okay, guys, so um, we're going to be taking a look to start with, um, you know, at this four hourly chart. I really want to highlight a couple of moves that I think are quite important that we maybe have uh, you know, overlooked a little bit, um, but, you know, are still very relevant with what we've been talking about recently. I still think that we are likely to go up to new all time high. And um, this is based on what we are seeing within some of the other technicals. But, you know, again, we have to be objective about these things. They can change quite fast. Um, and I do want to kind of highlight a couple of things that happened yesterday and obviously, you know, what this may mean for uh, later later on in this week next week etc right so on this four hourly chart i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and what we're going to do is we're going to really focus in on uh, on this move here right so we had this pullback uh, this was basically the 5th of january then obviously yesterday we saw this wick all the way down into this low point now for the most part this is an impulsive move okay so whether i did the the video on bitcoin yesterday and um, we're up here um and we we're looking okay um but basically what we ended up with was a retracement right so uh, if we actually have our a wave just here and um, we'll grab hold of that like so using the fibonacci retracement tool and then we put it on top of that b wave you can see that we did wick way past the 1.382 way past the 1.618 right down into this low area of um 39,000. Uh, what was the actual wick on there uh, according to binance was $39,650 to the penny. Okay, so we know we went down low and it was impulsive, but it wasn't an impulsive move. And um, the high wick shows exhaustion and basically buyers mopped that up quite nicely. So pockets of liquidity were found down here, lots of potential buying from whales or institutions, market makers or whatever was going on at this point. As the price was pulling back down, taking out some of those stop losses, liquidating people who might have been going long at the time. And again, this wick here shows you that the buyers got control we then started to see this push up with an a wave from that low to the a wave and we we're expecting this to pull back down and um, into the range of about 40,600 700 in that kind of bit right, right around here um, and then obviously go up slightly higher where we go into the 43k range that would actually take us above the neckline of the head and shoulder pattern now on here obviously we should acknowledge another couple of things so Although this was impulsive uh, or looked like it was impulsive going past the 1.382, the 1.618, um, we actually crossed back past the A wave, basically invalidating an impulsive move and concreting this as a uh, ABC correction. So we can now remove that fib. We know that it was an ABC. It was not an impulsive move. We know more uh, wave counts on this one to the downside. Instead, we should look, should look for the, the, uh, the ABC to the upside. Okay, right. And this is just a four hourly chart, by the way, guys. Now, the other thing I want to highlight here is this impulsive move to the downside that actually started up here. This was on the 27th of December. Now, this, for the most part, if you actually take the low point down here um, to the high point, this being your first wave, and move it over to the high point of our second wave, we can see that we actually fell down past the one point... Um, uh, the, yeah, well, yeah, the, the one to one ratio just here. And we pulled down and we've wicked down to the point where it would be a 382. So um, what I want to do is actually just move this over to this area here for a second. And what we'll do is we'll just zoom on in um, on this point. And what we can take a look at is if I move that out of the way and I move that out of the way right here. So there's an interesting proposition here we've stopped at the 1.382 this basically effectively means it's a c wave but we could also see this thing potentially go down a little bit lower and the reason i say this whether we want to class it as um you know a, a, a one through five or an additional abc correction i do see an abc move uh, on the larger time frames and this actually runs all the way from up here uh, back in november okay so it's a big a wave down 
a B wave up and then we are following this down into a C wave low. This comes in at about $37,327. And if we were to see this as an impulsive move starting in December uh, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that fifth wave on the 1.618 uh, extension comes in at the same value. So we could potentially argue that we are looking to push up on the smaller time frames up into that range for about $43,000 and then potentially see this thing pull all the way down down to $37,000, completing the larger picture, right? Completing the, the corrections that we need to see on the bigger time frames. And um, so obviously this, I think this is something that is likely to happen. I think it's quite probable. OK, and um, it's all possible, but I do think this is something that is probably going to occur uh, as we continue this motion to the downside. Once this is done, though, this actually then should trigger, as you can see, a big B wave. This is all a big B wave correction. And um, this actually then should trigger a big C wave move to the upside where we have our target here of $77,000. Okay, so this is not something that is going to happen. As I did see some of the comments on yesterday's video. It is not something that's going to happen within a couple of days, a couple of weeks. It is something that's going to happen over several months, okay? Um, that bigger picture of 77K. However, what we can look at and we can see what's going to happen soon is the push up towards $43,000 and the pull back towards $37,000. Those two things are likely to happen and they are going to happen probably within the next few weeks and um, it could be sooner it could be later timing is always the hardest thing to gauge but once we're down here at the bottom of th uh, by that $37,000 range this should be our B wave correction and if I come over to our weekly chart the B wave correction guys is this one just here let me just zoom on out so you can kind of see that we had the big A wave up we had the B wave coming down that C wave coming down into that $37,000 range and then we push up to that $77,000 right again heavily oversold on that stochastic RSI this is something that is very likely to happen it's very very probable okay we are likely to see another all-time high in my opinion um, and again the daily chart is also looking very very good for that kind of proposition as well we are now just working through those micro movements on the smaller time frames before we actually start to see that steady growth back um, and good recovery so as we look at this and we think okay sure there's there's downside in the market right now this is a b wave move and not a you know not an a wave move down uh, expecting a c wave even lower this is a b wave move down which means we are looking for a c wave up afterwards um, and again lots of people being shaken out because they continue to use stop losses they continue to use leverage and unfortunately you're never going to be able to remove all of that from the space and whilst people continue to use leverage and continue to use stop losses um and uh, you know allow the, the the whales and the market makers to you know basically take those pockets of liquidity which is what they're doing um you know this is going to continue I think eventually uh, retail investors uh, are going to get incredibly fed up and frustrated with Bitcoin. And uh, this is a delicate game that whales also play. They don't necessarily take advantage of every single pullback or every little bit of liquidity. They want retail investors to feel confident in the market occasionally so that they can then repeat and continue to rinse them dry. So it's important that we understand what happens, how these institutions, how whales operate versus, you know, ultimately, you know, um, how retail investors work we, we operate very very differently we buy the dip we hodl we you know some of us will use leverage etc um not that we would uh we would condone such things but we don't like it we, we buy the hold and hold assets uh you know that's best that we can do um so i think it's important we understand different types of investors have different types of strategies and um you know institutions and whales they go for liquidity and that's what we've been seeing with these particularly long wicks liquidity getting acquired but they do all line up nicely into the tent Nickels. okay we take a look at the retracement zones and they resonate incredibly well with some really good key areas such as the 618 the 382 uh, we also have the 702 and the 786 this particular retracement taking us down to thirty seven thousand dollars is a 786 retracement um, and if we grab hold of that fibonacci retracement tool what we do is we actually take this from the high point of our a wave down to the low point of our um our a wave here um if i actually grab hold of that on the right point um yeah, here we can see that we come down into that range. So actually just reverse that a second so we can see that a little bit clearer. We take it from the low uh, down here, which would have been that 28K range. Uh, and then we pull up. We can see that coming down to that 782 right here on that line of $37,000. It's a 786 retracement. Now, what we also look for is, you know, where that one-to-one -one ratio on the Fibonacci retracement. So we take that A wave here. We take that 
uh, A wave low and the A wave high. We move that over to our 786. And here we get the $77,000 retracement or a one to one ratio. So the C wave equally in the same distance as an A wave. Even if we actually come back down or sorry, I should say come back up and uh, we can see that the 786 is a 69 uh, you know, $69,000 target that we had also achieved already. Let me just uh, go ahead and put that back over there and then just grab this a sec. So as we pull this over, uh, we can see that the 786 is a $69,000 uh, $69, range. And again, if we do find resistance here, that'll be a double top and again, could lead us down into lower lows. Um, but ultimately right now, we are looking at um, you know some interesting kind of points here. Good ABC move to the upside is scoped out here on our weekly chart. We are looking for a slightly lower uh, entry point on this one, you, but you can of course start the dollar cost average if you're interested in Bitcoin. Myself, I wouldn't be buying Bitcoin, um, not right now or not at these values anyway. Um, you know, Bitcoin has you know very, very low kind of percentage points that you can kind of uh, acquire from it. Instead, it's gonna be the altcoins that you going to be wanting to be focusing in on as bitcoin gets this reversal um so guys i just really want to do a really quick video to kind of update you guys yes we are expecting downside but that downside is a part of a bigger plan on the bigger time frames as we go through the next couple of months we're going to potentially see another all-time high for bitcoin in my opinion hopefully you have found this video useful if you have hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and you will be kept up to date with all the videos that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with all that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.